All right, hey guys, I'm actually gonna do the mop quick because it's getting dark outside and I wanna show you guys how easy it is to brush everything off. So if you take a look down, this is our mop. Okay, so take a look. Um, so it's totally adjustable. You can make it higher or lower. Mine's really high right now, but usually I'd recommend just with a twist to put it down to about your chin. Um, one unique thing about our mop is it's super swivel easy and it actually has a reach that goes very low. So if you see this, there's not a lot on my end that's happening. So even if you have hard wood in your living rooms with couches, you can get under, under there super easily. Um, another thing, if Carly, if you want to look to the bottom here, I have my mop off to the side for a reason. Now this yellow one is the dry mop. Now the reason I put it off to the side is because if I'm doing around my house and I want to get under, for example, the edges here, I can get under there quite easily and bring things out with that edge. Okay, so this is super simple swivel here. I'm just doing quick little I usually recommend to do kind of figure eights. Right, I'm just going to do a small area just for the test of everything, just so you guys can see. Um, and then this side here I have off even more because if you're like us, I mean, if we had finished sideboards, um, if you have those sideboards in your living room, you can easily tip up this side and it will actually dust and clean your um, boards as well at the same time as your floors. So that's always a good tactic. So again, I'm just kind of easily swiveling back and forth. I won't do a whole lot because I'm not going to make you guys sit here forever watching. Okay, super easy. And again, what I would do is I would make kind of a neat pile and then you could either do a dusting pan if you really wanted or just get your Enviro cloth and you can pick up the pile. Um, so I'm just going to lift it up quick here. So if you take a look, um, it actually collects a lot of dust as well, which is great. So you're kind of dusting your floor at the same time. Um, and you can see the little leaves, there's hairs, eyelashes, things like that that your floor. Now, maybe we should go to the kitchen as well, just to show that as well. Okay. So usually I'll go the sides and edges first, just to bring all that stuff out, which we're going to have a lot of, so don't mind us. So you can hear all that stuff coming out right now. Again, I'm just doing a little figure eight, super easy. I'll just leave that tiny little pile there. And again, I'm just gonna lift it up again. This is really high, guys, sorry, but again, so you can see a lot more on there. You know, crumbs from dinner, seeds, the little stuff that sometimes you wouldn't normally pick up. Um, lots of stuff in there. Hoping you guys can get that with the light in here. All right, and then now what I'm gonna do is, Carolee's gonna follow me outside. I'm gonna show you a little thing that Norwex also has, which makes this very easy to use. Um, they have our rubber brush. So if you ever wanna just kind of clean this off quick, you don't need to wash it every time you use it. That's a big thing. We don't wanna waste all that water. All you really need to do is either go outside or over a garbage can and use this rubber brush and it will clean it quite well. It will have a little bit of the gray color from the dust because it does pull it in really well, just like the Enviro cloth. However, you don't need to wash it all the time. If you ever feel like you need to, you can do in the laundry machine hot water. Usually we recommend no highly scented or scented pro products at all for Norwex things because it will eliminate or um, deplete that silver. So if you really want to, you can do a deep clean, which pretty much just boil a pot of water and do that a couple times until your water is, is clear. So I'm just gonna take a quick step outside. I'm gonna go barefoot, save some time here. Chili. All right. Um, so I guess I'll just shine it in the light here so you guys can see. So I'm just going to take the brush right here and just swipe it along. And as you guys can see, I don't know if you can hear it too, but it's actually taking all of the debris off of the mop. Right? And then I can just spin it and do the same on the other side. So it's getting all those little chunks that you guys saw before off. The only thing that's really staying on a little bit is the color of that dust. But again, that's just because it's locking it in so well that it's staying deep within the surface. And again, that can be rinsed out and just laid, left to dry. Again, this is your dry mop. You will want to keep that dry. Inside, I have something similar, which is our wet mop, and it's blue in color. Now with that, you can either choose to dampen it and squirt it with a squirt bottle or squirt areas of your floor and then go over top of them. 
Um, some people are commonly really stuck on the lemony fresh scent and they don't understand that just water with these cloths can clean your surfaces. So if you really want to, sometimes I recommend even just a couple drops of like a lemon essential oil into the water before you spray your floor, you'll get a little bit of that lemony scent. So again, these mops are great. And the best thing about this coming month in April, um, if you do host a party with me, that gets 550 in sales, which is super obtainable. Uh, my first ever party was 750 in sales. Um, this month, if you get 550 in sales, you get the mop and the pads for free. So super easy. It's a really necessary item for your home and it makes your life a lot easier. Awesome. Thanks so much. We're going to get out of the cold and we'll go to the dusting mitt next.